The first of the two methods I want to show you to color grade HLG footage in DaVinci Resolve is the nodes based workflow. So we're going to switch over to the color tab. And the next thing we're going to do is come up to the file menu, come down and choose project settings, and then click on the color management section. And you want to set your color science to DaVinci YRGB. You want to set your timeline color space to DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, and then you wanna set your output color space. In this example, we're gonna be rendering for Rec 709. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and choose Rec 709 Gamma 2.4, and then hit save. The reason we're setting this timeline color space to DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate is because this is a big space. It can hold a lot of color information. So when we're doing color grading, we're less likely to cause artifacts or problems. So once you've set that, click save, and then come back to the color space here. And I'm gonna hit Alt S on the keyboard to add a second node. In this first node, we're gonna be taking our HLG footage and transforming it to DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate. And in the last node, we're gonna be converting from DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate into our output color space. In this case, it's gonna be Rec 709. The way we do these transforms is not to use LUTs. Instead, we come over to the effects here and click on it to open them and find this color space transform effect. Left click and drag it onto a node. So this is our first node where we want to convert from the incoming color space to DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate. So what do we need to use for the input color space and input gamma? Well, if we come over to the media tab, you can see that this footage that we're working with in this demo is using the input color space Rec 2100 HLG. So what we need to do is come back to the color space and for the input color space, we wanna scroll down here and choose Rec 2100. And for the input gamma, once again, scroll down and choose Rec 2100 HLG Scene. If you want to, you can right click and select Node Label, just to remind yourself that we're transforming to DaVinci Wide Gamut. For the last node in this chain, you wanna drag the color space transform effect onto this node. And for the input color space, remember that we've converted to DaVinci Wide Gamut. So our input color space is DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. And the output color space in this demo is gonna be Rec 709 and gamma 2.4. Right click and choose node label, just to remind yourself what this node is doing. So at the minute we've performed a couple of technical transformations from Rec 2100 here into DaVinci Wide Gamut, and then from DaVinci Wide Gamut to Rec 709. If I click on this first node and hit Alt S, we can add a node between these two nodes, and it's between these two nodes that we wanna do all of our color grading work. So for example, we're gonna add another two nodes using Alt S. We can close the effects by clicking this button here to give us a bit more space. I'm gonna come down and change the vector scope to be waveform so we can just get an idea of the luminance values or the lights and darks. And we might wanna start off by just lowering the lift a bit, maybe stretching out things a bit with some gain. In the next node, we can do some contrast work. So I'm just gonna use the contrast control here and just adjust things how you want. And if I click on this third node, we can make some color adjustments here. Just gonna drag this little dot in the middle of the offset wheel around just to get the look that I want. And of course, you can come back to these other two nodes to make some more adjustments. Maybe we just wanna alter the gamma a bit here. And of course, you can add as many nodes as you want between these two nodes here. If you do have a stylistic LUT that you want to use and that LUT needs to work with Rec 709, you need to add a node after this Rec 709 node. Not gonna do that here. Or if the LUT that you want to use expects DaVinci Wide Gamut, you can add it before this last conversion. I'm just gonna hit backspace to delete that. For the second method, we're gonna be making use of DaVinci Resolve's color managed workflow. That means we don't have to manually convert to DaVinci Wide Gamut here. I'm just gonna hit backspace to remove that node. We also don't have to manually convert to Rec 709, so we'll delete that. We're gonna to come to the file menu and come back to project settings. And once again, make sure in the color management section, Change the color science from DaVinci YRGB to DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. Uncheck this automatic color management. For the color processing mode, we want to select HDR, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. This is gonna give us the biggest possible working space when we're doing color grading. And for the output color space, once again, we're going to go with Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Just gonna hit save and watch what happens to this image when I click save. Notice that it's automatically being converted to Rec 709. The color management pipeline is now taking care of doing those conversions for us that we had in the two nodes that we just deleted. That means we can just concentrate on the actual color grading and not have to worry about the technical conversion nodes. So maybe we wanna push a bit of color into gain and also into lift. 
and create a really stylized look. You can add as many nodes as you want to perform your color grading. If you want to binge watch some DaVinci Resolve tutorials, check out this playlist next. I'm Jason Roberts and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.